Hey, welcome everyone. It's Colt, and this week I'm trying something a bit different. So this will be the first in an eventual series I'm calling Coding Challenges. Maybe you can come up with a better name. Let me know. I'm not thrilled with that name. The idea is that I'll give you a challenge, something that's usually time boxed so you don't have to spend hours and hours or days and weeks on something. Um, and it's an opportunity for you to build a simple widget or an application, uh, something involving a particular API or a library. There will be opportunities to get pretty creative and uh, show some of your skills, but also it's just a, a chance for you to practice. In addition to you practicing on your own, you'll be able to submit your code if you want. So obviously not mandatory in any way. You can stop watching this video at any point. None of this is mandatory. But if you are interested, you can submit your code and um, I will review it. And depending on how many solutions there are, and then I'll make a follow-up video talking about some of the best submissions, talking about some areas that um, maybe we could make improvements on. So I'm excited about this. Um, of course, I'll continue to have educational videos. This one is not really going to teach you much, but I do think the follow-up videos where we go through solutions and do code reviews could be pretty beneficial. All right, so this first challenge is not the hardest thing on earth, but it's also not uh, an incredibly simple challenge. I have a whole list of like dozens of challenges that I've, I've written out, some of which are pulled from real take-home coding interviews from real companies that you definitely have heard of. So I'll pull some of those out later on. I didn't want to start off with some really depressingly difficult challenge. So this first challenge is to build a simple stepper form. It does not have to look like this. And when I say stepper form, I mean a form that has multiple steps, which are not all displaying at the same time. We go through the form one step at a time. So I have a couple examples. This one is nice looking. Again, don't worry about the styles. So I can submit an email and then it asks for a password and it's showing me the second step. It shows me my progress. There are many ways of indicating that progress and I can get to the end and submit. Here is another version. This is a horizontal stepper form. So we have email as the first step. I can click next and I can type in a password. Note that all of these forms allow me to go backwards if I want to change something. It's pretty obnoxious if you have a stepper form and you have no way of updating or editing previously entered fields. So password and then we get to the end and just have a button or some sort of input. The goal here is to have three or more fields. One more, very different approach, enter a username, an email, and a password. And then I get to the end. So lots of implementations there, but here are the core requirements. First, this is very important. Please don't go crazy and spend days and days on this. You could definitely polish things up, make it look great. But the goal is not to see who can make the prettiest, most amazing stepper form um, given unlimited time. It's really about implementing the core functionality. Styles can come later. Those are important to some extent, if this was a coding interview, if this was a take home challenge, but they are not anywhere near as important as actually making a working functional stepper form. Now the second, but also very important note is I'd like you to only use vanilla JavaScript. So no libraries like React or jQuery. I think there are some stepper form component libraries where you could fire up a stepper form in like two minutes. That is not in the spirit of this challenge. So only vanilla JavaScript DOM manipulation. You will need to do some DOM manipulation. And horizontal or vertical is totally fine. A minimum of three steps. Um, and then lastly, if you have time, make it look nice, but don't make that your priority. You can submit something with no styles. And as long as it functions, I'm happy to talk about the code. Um, again, I can't guarantee I'm going to talk about everyone's code. I have no idea how many people will submit this. I'm not going to have a two or three hour code review video to follow this up. So if there is a huge volume of submissions, I will just pick a couple, um, probably randomly. We'll figure it out. Uh, if we continue with this series, if, if this is something that, uh, you guys are interested in more coding challenges, I'll find a, a fair and equitable way of selecting who gets reviewed. Anyway, that's a basic premise. Make a stepper form beautiful or hideous, just make it work where we have different steps, horizontal or vertical, and don't spend an insane amount of time on it. Now, in terms of submitting your code, if you choose to do so, I have a Google form that you can find in the description of this video. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this open for. I don't want people to stumble across this video six months from now um, and have them try and submit their code 
and just not realize that I've already recorded the follow-up. I'll keep it open for a minimum of two weeks. Um, and if I'm noticing there are just tons of submissions, I'll probably close it. And if there aren't very many, I might give it another week. But if you're interested, take a look at the form. Just give you a quick preview of what it looks like. Um, it says coding challenge number one. There are a couple things I'm asking for. First is a GitHub repo containing your solution code. This will just make it easier to get on my machine and review it and run it. But also make sure you include a deployed version. I, I put deployed in quotes because a code pen is totally fine. If you wanna use GitHub pages, it's super easy these days. But we just need a link where we can view your code without having to actually run it, download it and all of that stuff. And then I'd like for you to submit how difficult you found the challenge. That will help me calibrate future challenges. And then the last one here is very important. I don't know how everyone will feel about getting their code reviewed. I'm sure some of you uh, are not super keen on the idea of having a bunch of, potentially a bunch of my subscribers. Who knows, maybe no one will watch the video, but potentially a lot of people watching your code being reviewed. Whether it's positive, everything's going to be constructive, nothing will be negative, horrible. But if you uh, don't want your name to be used, uh, you don't want me to mention anything you know, about your GitHub username or your first name or whatever, make sure you check this box, keep me anonymous. If you are cool with me mentioning your name, um, click that right there. So that's it, two different links, GitHub repo, and then a deployed version, CodePen is probably easiest, or GitHub pages, submit this form, and in a couple weeks, I'll have a follow-up video. The last thing I would say is, please uh, respect the spirit of these challenges. You can find a bunch of step reform implementations all over. The goal is not to copy and paste someone else's code. I'm probably not going to run code through a plagiarism. There are code plagiarism suites and software. I'm not going to deal with that most likely. But if you're submitting code that you didn't write, it's just not going to be very beneficial to anyone. But by all means, do some research. Take a look around, right? We don't write code in a vacuum. Just don't copy and paste someone else's solution. All right, so that's the prompt for this first coding challenge. Um, the last thing I would say is don't stress about it. Whether you're somebody who's really comfortable with web development or you're just starting out, please submit or at least attempt it. Please don't feel like you're going to be judged in any way. It's not a competition. This is just a challenge for you to take on on your own. If you have suggestions for future coding challenges, um, I do have a bunch of ideas already written out, as I've mentioned, but I am definitely open to other ideas. And if you're not already subscribing, Subscribe if you'd like to. I appreciate it. Like the video. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching.